my strategy to get a white apron, I am going to talk my way into those judges' hearts and help them to realize that I am going to be Canada's next master chef. They are gonna love this pot. My cooking style and my personality are pretty much one and the same. Oh, snap! Just like me being loud and bold and sometimes a bit obnoxious, so is my food. It's go time! Hi there. Hi, gentlemen. I'm Jennifer. So what is the dish you're preparing for us? Blueberry, basil, and goat cheese pie. Not your grandmother's blueberry pie. I make the best pie crust recipe, hands down. Because I think that if I served you anything less than that, it would be an absolute disrespectful move on my part. You've got five minutes to present us with your dish, OK? I talk a lot when I'm nervous, can you tell? I have waited my whole life for this moment. You get one crack. This is a turning point in my life. I am picked last in sports. I was a terrible athlete. Oh my gosh, we won't even go there. You're running out of time. You gotta go. I was never the popular kid in school. In fact, I got picked on a lot. So if anybody is watching this right now from where I grew up, <laughs> lots changed. <laughs> so going home, I have to tell you, is not an option. And I will fight to the death to make sure that I'm walking out of there with that white apron. Jennifer, Jennifer, are you finished? <laughs> it's ready for your tasting. What I have for you is a blueberry basil and goat cheese pie top. It's kind of like the top of the muffin. It's always the best part. What's your food dream, Jennifer? I would love to have a food truck. And you think this pie will get you there? That pie is absolutely going to get me there because you want to know something about this pie? I've had people say they don't like blueberries. People that don't like pie in general tell me, wow, I would eat this pie again. Thanks, Jennifer. Tell me, Jennifer, I mean, this is not my grandmother's pie, right? It's nobody's grandmother's Nobody. pie. I don't want to stereotype myself as the pie girl. Well? I realize that people look at what I've made and that said, oh, you're the pie girl, huh? Just, just listen, listen. I know, I don't ever shut up. There's definitely a lot going on there. I'm speechless. I want to ask you what you think about this pie, because you think it's delicious, right? So does everybody back there. <laughs> smells good. You should see how it tastes. So Jennifer, you know, for me, the pie, had some great layers, great complexity. The crust was light. The filling had some very fresh, bright flavors. I'm a yes. yes. Jennifer, not your grandmother's pie is not for me. That pie was lacking in texture. I, I wanted something that was a nice contrast to the rich sort of bright flavors. It's a no. Jennifer, the crust nice and crispy, and I can taste that blueberry. Growing up in Scarborough, I love blueberry. I had some growing in my backyard. I'm just concerned about your listening skill. Can you promise me just one thing? Can you just keep quiet for five seconds so I can put an apron around your neck? Oh my gosh. Alvin, you're getting a full body hug. Oh, I'm looking well with that, too. Oh, <laughs> to listen and become Canada's next master chef.